Well, Senate Democrats and Republicans in D.C., they grilled the CEO of Norfolk Southern on Thursday during a hearing on the East Palestine, Ohio train derailment. And the train was carrying hazardous chemicals, and since the derailment, people who live nearby, they're concerned about long-term health and cleanup efforts. A Washington, D.C. correspondent, Rachel Knapp, has more. Will you commit that Norfolk Southern will be there for the, as long as it takes to make East Palestine, Ohio, Darlington Township in Pennsylvania, and the surrounding communities whole from this disaster, yes or no? I understand that concern. That's the same concern that is shared with me by the residents of East Palestine and Darlington Township. Um, I'm terribly sorry for the impact this derailment has had on the folks of that community. And yes, it's my personal commitment and Norfolk Southern's commitment that we're going to be there for as long as it takes to help East Palestine thrive and recover. During this roughly two-hour Senate hearing, Alan Shaw, the CEO of Norfolk Southern, continued to apologize for the train derailment near the Pennsylvania-Ohio border nearly a month ago. Although Senator John Fetterman is still getting treatment in a hospital for depression, he demanded Shaw to answer some of his own questions, like why was Pennsylvania Department of Emergency Management and the state's Environment Department contacted hours after the derailment? and if there is a process in place to contact state agencies if a derailment occurs. The process that's established is part of the Department of Homeland Security presidential directive that was established in 2003. My understanding is Norfolk Southern immediately contacted the National Response Center, which then contacted applicable federal, state, and local authorities. Ohio's EPA testified there were gaps in communication within the first couple of days between responding agencies in Norfolk Southern. Things could have been handled better in the beginning hours. At the Capitol, Rachel Knapp reporting. Rachel, thank you. Senators say the lack of communication or those communication gaps led to a lot of the distrust within communities impacted by the derailment. Officials did say that communication has cleared up between all parties following the crash.